Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin in the Woods. It is the morning of day six and the first thing I want to do this morning is spend some skill points. We have three of them. So I'm going to go into Mother Load. This will increase our harvest. Matter of fact, let's go into this twice since we have, you know, limited time to gather resources in this series. And then let's also go into Machine Gunner. All right, we can get a move on now. First thing we are doing today is going after this treasure chest. I canceled the job we had with Trader Jen just because I feel like carving out my own path today. You know what I mean? Letting this episode play out a bit more organically instead of doing jobs for Jen. Plus, tomorrow on day seven, her inventory restocks. So we'll definitely go see her tomorrow. And while we're there, then we'll pick up another job from her. And we'll also go see the trader up north as well. I also want to harvest some iron today, so if we see some on the way to the treasure, we're going to stop and grab it. Now, a couple of things you may have noticed. One, the Jeep's health is back up to full. I used the repair kit on it last night. And two, before I got in the Jeep, I had a 10-slot tool belt. Now, that's not a mod. I updated this to the latest Experimental Alpha 19.1. That's right. This is an experimental build. It's not stable. So if you're playing Alpha 19 stable and you want to play this build, you have to opt into the latest experimental build. Now, other than the increased tool belt size, and I know some new zombies have been added to this uh, build, I don't really know what else has changed. I haven't gone through the patch notes. All right, that's good enough for now. There's a uh, car over there. Let's go take it apart. Is this zombie really beating on my Jeep? Hey, what are you doing, motherfucker? I just repaired that shit. Look at this place. U.S. Fire Post 69. I've never been in there before. I think that's a new POI. All right, sweet. Well, let's go dig up the treasure, and then we'll come back here and loot. Well, we got the treasure underneath a road here, but it's not a main road, so that's good. Just sand and stone. Digs up just as easy as uh, the dirt would. But we get sand and stone out of it, which is also good because we can use that to make more concrete. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally. Fuck, it's almost hour nine. Wait, hold up. Gotta eat our jailbreaker candy before we do that. I mean, I know it's not that late, but that took longer than I expected. Hopefully, it was worth it. Oh, that's not bad at all. Good amount of coin right there. All right, let's get back to that military base. All right, here we are. Well, it's a U.S. fire post. I guess it's not really a military base, but I got to imagine there'll be some soldier zombies in there and hopefully some good loot. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that armor plating mod. We can put it on a piece of our armor before we head in. Let's see what we got in here. And then the way inside is through the garage with the uh, military vehicle. Drink that water now. Let's grab the chair. Let's get around to that garage. I'm going to take that uh, truck apart. These big vehicles, they have 2,500 hit points, so you can get a shit ton of resources out of them. And that's what we're going to do. Let's make sure there are no zombies in here first, though. Let's eat some of this food now. Oh, here we go. Zombie just fell down. Oh, he's new. This guy's new. He must replace the construction worker zombie, right? Alright, here we go. I wasn't going to bring a shotgun with me today, but I figured since we have the larger tool belt, I might as well. And look at this, we got a doghouse. Which means there may be some dogs around here. It's a good thing I brought that shotgun. Nothing in there. Let's see what we got back here. It's a backpack. Some water. Well, let's start with uh, this building. 
Can check these barrels. A little bit of gas. Hey, buddy. Just me and you in here now. All right, let's move along. I think I'm going to stay hugging, like, the left side here. Those look like kennels next to the doghouse. I'm assuming that's where the dogs are. So let's see if we can kind of be sneaky, get out in front of them and get a shot at these dogs while they're sleeping. Or not. Oh, fuck. Get in here and close the door. No, oh, not fast enough. Son of a bitch. This is going well. Yeah, come on in, both of you. All right, my time to leave. Close that door. Well, that didn't work out the way I planned. Well, we have the early stages of an infection, and there's something wrong with our arm. I think it's sprained. Yeah, sprained arm. This slows down our weapon handling, our reload speed. Power attacks, it says, can do damage to us. Uh, but there's no way to uh, heal that. I'm going to use a bandage just to get our hit points up as high as uh, we can get them for now. Until that arm heals. But like I was saying, there, there's no way to to heal that quickly. We just got to wait out the nine minutes, I guess. Alright, wake up, you motherfuckers. Let's go, ladies. Bring it outside. Okay. Give me that spear back. Yeah, throwing that spear did uh, do a little bit of damage to us. We had 85 hit points, now we have 82. Oh, 81 now. After that swing. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna let a little sprained arm keep me from using power attacks. Keep it moving here. Hopefully we can find some antibiotics or honey or some shit. Soldier zombie. Um, I mean, I mean, I know that first building we went into was like the medical ward. We didn't have any luck there. Who knows? Maybe we can find something. Close that door. Otherwise, we're going to have to cruise around the area here. See if we can find some, uh, oh, shit. Cornered ourselves. Okay, here we go. All right, he's dead. Uh, yeah, if we can't find something in here, we're gonna have to cruise around the area, see if we can find a tree stump to chop up. Hopefully find some honey that way. Kitchen area, this might be like the mess hall. Bathroom right here. Bathroom's clear. Yeah, look, place to do your laundry or whatever. Alright, um, that door's locked. Let's search this kitchen area before we... Wake up any zombies. We got a zombie at this back door here trying to break in. I'll let him work on that for a little bit. Ah, oh, beautiful antibiotics. Let's take those right now. That'll clear up that early stage of infection. And let's help this guy out. I'm sick of hearing him beating on this fucking door. Alright, what do we got back here? Some trash. Piece of aloe. Glue and paper. Let's finish looting this kitchen area. Motherfucker. Get out of here. See if we can be sneaky. Use this bow that we brought. Alright, one shot. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, beautiful. Alright, let's take up this cobblestone. Whoops, I missed one. There we go, on the left side. Looks like we're climbing up on the roof here. Once we get up there, I'll dig up this cement. You know what, let's bust the shotgun out in case there's a bird up here. I don't see any. Oh, we missed an ammo pile down there. Um, I mean, we didn't raid that building at all. I got a feeling the main loot is up here in this tower. 
So, let's hop down, grab- oh, shit. What, I get caught on the barbed wire? Let's grab this ammo pile. Ooh, nice. And, uh, let's loot, uh, this building here. This building actually has its own little tower. Come on, wake up, fuckers. And then we'll get back up to where we just were. Damn, we're down to 64 hit points just from using power attacks with the sprained arm. But, uh, that's alright. We got less than five minutes and this arm will be healed. And then we'll use this, uh, painkiller we found. Alright, what do we got in here? Not much. A zombie. Yep, it's coming from the back there. Just let him beat through the iron wall that's fine with me. You keep working at that, buddy. Not gonna help you. Let's see what we got up here. That door's locked. Let's keep going. Got a backpack. Scrap the can. Take those padded gloves. That's unlocked. Some medical supplies, it looks like. Yep. Grain alcohol. All right, let's uh, get back to where we were earlier. We can probably just drop down right here. Okay. Take those feathers and let's just make a little bridge right across to this rooftop. That's the broken ladder. This is the way we gotta go. Let's get the shotgun out. I'm not fucking around in this little tight space. That's the, uh, that's the flag making that noise for a second. I thought it was a bird flying in on us. There's the main loot. Oh, shit. Zombies dropping in from above. Come on out of there. Don't you know how a door works? Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, shit. Okay, if this wasn't Horde every night, I would say let's find another place to loot, but it's probably smart to just head home at this point. We can get all of this loot organized, gear up for the Horde, and then maybe do some work before they show up, like put in some hatches or whatever. She was probably the only zombie in here. If there was another one up there. I think it would have woken up already. Well, let's loot this little place and then we'll get home. You never know what you can find in these little shacks, you know? Cowboy boots, we can sell those. Look at that. Some armor that we can sell. Actually, that level 6 padded armor is better than the, what, level 4 padded armor that we're wearing, so... You can switch that out. Scrap the can, take the water bottle. Nothing in there. Anything out back? No. Let's check upstairs. What is that? Oh, the arrow that we killed the zombie with. Let's take this uh, radiator apart, too. Ah, uh, agility goggles. I'm not going to use those over the loot goggles, but we can sell them for a decent amount. Painkillers, let's use one, since our sprained arm is healed. And let's drink this water, too, so we don't get too dehydrated. Let's pop this crate open. We should be able to, like, crouch right here and reach it. There we go.
I'm going to leave this area alone for now. Maybe when the zombies finally do get around to breaking through this area, then I'll replace the bars with hatches, but for now, the bars are doing just fine right there. We're pretty hungry. Let's uh, eat the rest of this boiled meat here, and then we'll get some more cooking. I hear a zombie walking around outside. Let's go check it out. Here we go, big boy. You're early to the party, man. And apparently you've been drinking. We're gonna start at the front door here, and then when the hatch is about to be breached, we'll get up uh, behind the bars. Ah, forget it. I was gonna grab some coffee. The only coffee we have is like that mega coffee, and uh, I'll save that for a later hoard. go for that arrow. I'll pick this one up off the ground. But trying to pull that arrow out of that zombie will probably just result in me opening up this hatch again and screwing us. I mean, not necessarily screwing us, but there's a lot of life left in this hatch and I want to make use of it. Alright, about 200 hit points left. Now's the time to make a move. Oh, that hooded zombie has pushed his way through also. Yeah, he's inside. Let's get some fire working while they're still stuck at the door. There goes Big Mama. I can't believe they haven't broken through yet. The hatch is like gone, but the frame of the hatch is still there. And now Big Mama's dead body is like blocking them up. Oh, never mind. They're in. Here's the new businessman, zombie. Looking nice and spiffy, ready for a meeting. So who have we seen now? The new businessman zombie, we saw the new construction worker zombie. The only one we haven't seen yet is the new stripper zombie. And that's unfortunate because they added a little mechanic to that zombie. And if you don't know, let's just say, uh, it's gotta be jelly cause jam don't shake like that. Oh, the nurse got her head stuck in the bars. Relax, girl. I'll get you out of there soon. Just hang tight for a minute, all right? Oh, sounds like dogs have joined the party. Dude, we are just fucking them up with this bat. And it's just a level 5 wooden club, man. It's not even a bat. I feel like if we put a few more points into Pummel Pete... Dude, if we maxed out Pummel Pete and Sexual Tyrannosaurus... Oh, is this guy alive? Uh, not anymore, he's not. Yeah, dude, if we max out Pummel Pete and Sexual Tyrannosaurus and get our- Oh shit, he is alive. Oh, fuck. Alright, now he's dead. Um... The fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, dude, if we max out Pummel Pete and Sexual Tyrannosaurus and get our hands on either a really good baseball bat or a steel club, I feel like we can do an insane amount of melee work here. The dogs are trying their hardest to get up the steps, but they can't do it. The zombies keep knocking them off. This block in the background's taking a bunch of damage. That's all from my shotgun blasts. Yeah, 
Fuck you. Let's get down here. We'll close that door. Oh, there's a loot bag outside. Let's grab that first. Ooh, that's a nice loot bag. Look at this. They destroyed my steps. I put steps in to make it easy for them to get up on the porch. They still destroyed the steps. I swear, it's like they did that shit out of spite just to piss me off. Look how much damage this block took just from uh, the shotgun. Let me check the bars. Not bad. Still have over half their life. Plus, there's another set of iron bars behind these. Dude, we used mostly melee tonight. That worked out really well. Like I was saying, if we had more points into Pummel Pete and we had a really good melee uh, club, you know, because that's what Pummel Pete uh, increases the damage for, clubs. So if we had like a really good baseball bat or the steel club, it would be insane. We can get to the point where we're just using melee because this setup really bottlenecks them. You know what I mean? Most of the zombies are just falling off the steps and running back around. So only like two, maybe three at the most can get to me at a time. And even if they do break through the bars, we'll, we'll have a bunch of hatches set up where we can continue bashing them with the melee weapons. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to get ahead of myself. We're still only on night six here. But for the rest of the night, I'm going to do some mining down here so we can get more stone, so we can make more concrete, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day seven. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin in the Woods, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.